So till now, we have solved numerous different questions in the settings of three different experiments. But there was something common in all these questions. Was we were able to calculate and we were able to count the sample space. But now, what, what if we are not able to count the sample space? How will we calculate it then? Let's look at a very different question and let's try and understand how we solve such problems. So in this question, we see that there is a rectangular field with the length of 300 meters and the breadth of 100 meters. There is a circular lake of the diameter 100 meters at the center of the field. So if you look at this diagram, all the green area comprises the field. So this is 300 meters and 100 meters. And then there is a circular lake of the diameter 100 meters. So this is the circular lake which has the diameter 100 meters. So this is at the center of the field. Now a kid is playing with a toy helicopter. When the battery of the helicopter fails and the helicopter crashes somewhere in this region. Might either crash, it might have either crashed in the field or in the lake. Now what we have to calculate is what is the probability that the helicopter will land in the lake. So let us assume that the helicopter can land anywhere in this whole area. Now we need to calculate what is the probability that the helicopter lands in the inside the lake. So now if you look at this question, the helicopter can land at any point in this field or in the lake, right? But we cannot count all the points on the field, right? So then how do we calculate the probability here? So now let's draw up the PCC and have a look at the question and try and analyze this problem. So the first thing that we have to figure out is what is the experiment? So the experiment that we are doing here is the helicopter falling towards the ground because we have to find the probability of where the helicopter falls. So the experiment that we are conducting here is falling of the helicopter towards the ground. Now to calculate the sample space. So the sample space, if we think logically, if you look at this figure and think logically, the sample space will be all the points that are present in this area, right? Why? Because the helicopter can fall at any point in this region. But then we cannot count, go and count all the points in that region, right? That is infinite, so it's impossible to count. So then how do we represent that? So is there any concept that we can use to represent all the points within an enclosed region? Think about it. Yeah, you are right. The, we can use the con concepts of area here to figure out, to represent the number of points which are present within that region. So the sample space here becomes the complete area of this region. So the complete exterior uh, rectangular region forms the sample space for us. So if we try and calculate that value, we have to calculate the area of this uh, uh, rectangular region. So we know that the area of a rectangular region is given by the multiplication of the length with its breadth. So we know that the length of this region is 300 meters and the breadth of this region is 100 meters. So the area of this region is the product of these two values. Now to calculate the favorable event, the favorable event as given in the question for us is that the helicopter lands in, inside the circular lake that is present at the center of this region. So all the points in that circular lake region form the favorable event for us. But again here, we cannot count and calculate all the number of points which are present in that lake. So then how do we, how do we uh, represent this particular thing? How do we calculate this? So this can again be figured out by calculating the area of this circular region as the area of the circular region will represent all the points that lie within that region. So to calculate the area of the circular region, the lake region, we know that the area of a circle is given by the formula pi r square. So if we calculate it, we'll get pi into, we know the diameter of the lake is 100 meters. So the radius of the lake is just half of the diameter, 
which is 50 meters. So pi r square will be pi into 50 meters into 50 meters. Now the number of favorable events is again going to be the same area. Why? Because we cannot calculate, count and calculate all the points in the favorable event set. So the number of favorable events will again be represented by the area of that particular region. So this is going to be again pi into 15 to 50 meter square. Now the number of total events is given by the total number of points which are present in the complete rectangular region. So this again will represent using the area of the sample space. So this will be given by 300 into 100 meter square. So the number of total events will again be represented by the complete area in which the helicopter can land. So now we know how to calculate the probability, right? The, number, the probability will be given by the ratio of number of favorable events and the number of total events. So if we calculate the probability here, we'll get the number of favorable events as pi into 50 into 50, right? So this is the number of favorable events. And the total number of events that we have is given by 300 into 100. So the total number of events will be 300 into 100 square. So meter square, meter square cancel. 50 goes twice with 100. 50 goes six times with 300. So this value turns out to be pi by 12. So the probability of the helicopter landing in the circular region, the lake region here, is going to be given by pi by 12. So this is a very interesting concept and, and it's a new kind of concept uh, that is there to learn in probability. And this is the concept of a continuous sample space where we cannot count and calculate the complete sample space.